It's a more heat. So this one, we've got to work out the new length due to the expansion. This year is the change in length due to the heat. Let's pretend I've got a 30 meter rail track and it starts off so it's at five degrees C. This is why they stop trains when it's hot. And it's been warmed up to a second temperature of 30. We need to find the change in length. The change in length, I don't know what it is. We need to know the thermal coefficient. This thing here is the thermal coefficient expansion. The one for steel is 15 times 10 to the minus six. Per degree Kelvin. Don't worry about the units. How much it expands by? What is the new length? What's the new length? We've got to find the change and then add it on. So the new length is going to be, uh, here look, length 30 meters. Times by the coefficient of thermal expansion, 15 times 10 to the minus six, times by the difference in temperature, which is, well, it's 25, but that's what we do. This will give us the change in length in meters. It's going to be something like 0.03 meters, 11.3 millimeters. But the new length is going to be, the new length is going to be 13 plus that, because it's expanded by that much. So this track, the new length is not, that might cause a bit of buckling perhaps. Heat expansion over and out.